and so this video is very long overdue because I think it's been like a month since we got back from New York. About three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a very long time. And I originally said in my Day in the Life New York vlog video, I will link that up somewhere up here for you. I originally said like, oh, we're gonna buy some things and then we'll do a haul video, like a his and hers haul video together. And then on that day, we never bought any things. No, we But didn't. we did on the final day. We went a bit crazy. We went a bit crazy and we bought some things. And people have been asking for Mark to show some of his favourites. I think you guys might have spotted his new shoes in the last vlog. And people were like, why doesn't Mark get a bit of airtime and get to talk through some of his favourite things? So I thought we would do a little like New York clothing haul. I'll show you some bits that I picked up because I kind of broke my capture wardrobe thing, but only for like three bits. It was so worth it. I didn't know that. I love them all. Well, it's almost summer. It's almost summer. And then Mark also got like, some it's clothing. Not, it's not if I can see outside. It's not if you can see outside. Like, it is absolutely pissing down with rain. Mark got back from work on his bike, was completely soaked. You've, like, dried yourself off. I had to ring myself out. Yeah, you really did. <laughs> and now he's filming this video for me. So I feel like this video deserves a thumbs up just for the fact that Mark was so... Dedicated to the cause. Well done. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you start off, because I've not done this before, so okay, I'm just a rookie. Think, I just had to explain the whole video concept and basically just said it's show and tell. So like I show and tell when you're in primary school. Yeah, it's just exactly like that. Just go around the circle, you know? So the first thing is this top that I'm wearing right now. It is from a brand called All Year Round. It was really close to the hotel and they're a company that's just very cool. They're very new. They sell online in America, but they don't currently ship to the UK. Boo but they do ship to America. And they just do clothes that are suitable for all year round. They don't really do like seasonal clothing. But I really love it. And so there were a couple of things that I bought that technically broke my spring capture wardrobe ban. But it is practically summer. And I feel like this is definitely something I could wear in the summer months because it is very thin. Um, which also makes wearing a bra underneath it a bit precarious. But I'm working with it. Well, I might as well do the same. Yeah. Not the same item, but... <laughs> I'm wearing one of my purchases. This is a shirt. Very and nice. It's got little, I don't know whether you can see, but it's got little parrots on. It's so all cute. Over it. They're all over the place. It's nice. It's got a little, nice little shirt pocket, which I quite like. So this is from a shop called Stephen Allen. I'm not doing this very well. No, you are. So the story of it is, so I went to this Stephen Allen, this shop called Stephen Allen. The reason was because I was looking for a pair of, a specific pair of vans that I wanted to oh, buy. Oh yeah, the vans. It said that Stephen Allen was a van stockist. So I went to Stephen Allen, if there wasn't any vans in there. <laughs> Queens of stockists. But they had loads of other cool stuff in there. This shirt included. Yeah, and it was a really cool shop. They had women's stuff in there as yeah. well. It's actually, a, it's Stephen Allen's home brand. Yeah. And it's made in the USA, which I really liked. I forgot to say, I'm not going to make Mark like swirl around and do cutaways of everything here. Um, but we will hold oh, no. things up. And I will also link everything down below in the description box. So if there's anything you want to see in more detail, if you click the links, it will take you to the product and you can see it like on a model. Because I feel like asking you to do this video is enough. You asking get, you I to mean, do some kind of like slow-mo. No one wants that either because is. I'm wearing my tracksuit bottoms and yeah. on the bottom. So. I'm wearing my leggings. Ooh. On to something else that I bought from all year round. I bought this cheesecloth. It's, got, it's like a shirt, but like a short sleeved, yeah. like a short sleeved shirt. They had it in a wide stripe and then also a narrow stripe. AYR? Yeah, mm. all year round. Oh, all year round. Yeah, and it's got like a little um, fold up on the sleeve and it kind of billows out. Like when I tried this on, I just thought this is amazing. I could have the world's biggest food baby underneath it and no one would ever know. And I kind of like that it billows out because it stops me tucking it in because I'm really obsessed with like tucking in tops at the moment. So something a bit different, something I can definitely wear throughout summer. And there is a blog post of me wearing this. So I'll make sure that's linked down below if you want to see it on. But it's just very relaxed. I like wearing this. This is nice. Yeah, you like? Yep. Get a seal of approval. I like that. Good. Uh, okay, so I picked up another thing from Stephen Allen. It was the... You can't really see it very well because it's quite dark, but they're, they're basically they're a pair of chinos. I saw these chinos because I wanted a pair of blue chinos anyway, and they had a pair in there when I was looking for the van but couldn't find them. So I saw these and I was like, oh, they look nice. And then I looked at the price and I was like, oh, that price is good. And then I looked at who they were made by and where they were made, and they're made by a company called Tikamide. I think that's how you say it. And they're made in the US. And they were such a good price. I was like, this is brilliant. They're really, like, really good quality. And, yeah, the fit is perfect. I think if they had these in more colours, you would have bought yeah, they, every single uh, I would have liked to, I would have liked to uh, kind of 
with like a beigey kind of pair, colour pair. You should keep an eye out, maybe they've got like a direct website. They have got a direct website, um, oh. I had a look but they didn't have any on so. Oh. But I will look out for them, but these are... Are, they, are those all of your Stephen Allen goods? Yes. I'll finish off my all year round Sorry. with possibly my favourite purchase of all. <laughs> By the way, we're sitting on our kitchen chairs and every time we move it sounds like we fart. We're not farting. <laughs> that was a fart. <laughs> no, no, no. This is probably my favourite purchase of all and is the one that I've got the most wear out of so far. And again, there's a blog post of me wearing this, actually titled, How to Style a Blazer. Yeah, it's like collarless. It's basically just a black blazer, but it's kind of collarless. There isn't really much going on around the collar. And it has a bit of shoulder pads going on, but not a crazy amount, because I always think it looks a bit 80s if you've got... Especially if you've got no collar. Yeah, it just looks a bit structured and I don't really like that. But I like these, it just adds a little tiny bit of structure but not too much, you can roll up the sleeves. It was quite pricey, but I feel yeah, like feels, this is something... Feels, uh, Are you happy with the quality of it? Feels thick and good. I feel like it's something that I'm going to wear for years and years and years to come. Black blazers never go out of fashion, they kind of come round in circles. And I have got so much wear out of this, and I feel like in the summer months, it's nice if you've got a blazer, a denim jacket and a leather jacket, you're good to go. This is the bag that I bought, it's uh, from a brand called... Topo Designs, which is made in Colorado in the USA, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of like a sort of kind of a camera bag. You kind of see inside there. It's kind of got a little like compartment. Can them. you move that around? Yeah, it's oh, like yeah it's, yeah, yeah, it's Velcro. So that's you, good. There's only one place that you can have it, but like that's that's where you have it. But you can take it out. You know, you can fit different things in. There's a couple of like snazzy pockets here at the back. Um, and it's a space for you to put like a water bottle in the side here and here. So the idea for this is really, I didn't want to be carrying around my big, well not big, but like my rucksack around. Yeah. So this was a really good size, it could fit my camera in, because generally I can take a camera and a bottle of water when I'm like, you know, out and about. On a city break. Yeah, if you're on holiday and stuff. Um, and you can fit in a bit of extra stuff in there if you want to. Um, so I found it online anyway and kind of knew where I wanted to get it from. Again, I had to do a bit of a search to find Wear stock topper designs bags in New York. Is it K? I think it's KM Cameras. For you YouTubers <laughs> out there, it's next to like Casey Neistat's studio. Yeah, it is. It's the camera shop that he goes to. We were like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. So, um, and they had actually they had loads of topper bags in there. That was a really good place, and I bought it from there. And I think it was the last one they had. The next things that I have to show you are from a brand called Outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> the party yeah. chair. The next few things are from a brand called Outdoor Voices, which I've actually done a blog post on today. So if you want to see all these pieces on, it is in today's blog post. So I'll make sure that's linked down below for you as well. But I love this brand. I've actually tried a few of their things before because they do ship to the UK. It's like a fitness, athlete, leisure brand. And all of the women in New York who are going to fitness classes were wearing this brand, weren't they? We went to a Pilates class and I was like, they're outdoor voices, they're outdoor voices, <laughs> they're outdoor voices. And it's just such a cool brand because number one, the founder of it is this really young girl. She's like a 25 year old entrepreneur and started it completely That's cool. herself, which is awesome. So yay, girl power. And it's a brand where the clothing is just very transitionable from going to the gym, working out, and it is actually good for working out. Like it doesn't show sweat, it doesn't like bunch up or cling in any horrible areas but then it also looks, it does actually look good enough if you want to like go for brunch or wear the leggings of the weekend. I've gone for brunch in some Outdoor Voices leggings before. I will show you, no, you know what, I'm not going to show you my favourite thing first, I'll show you the, the boring bit first, but I bought one of their sports bras. Very nice. The good thing with this one is because it's like a crop top and it goes down quite low, that actually it hits if you're wearing like quite high-waisted leggings. <laughs> if you're wearing high-waisted leggings, it means that there's only like a small bit of stomach showing and that's good because I don't like to have my belly up. If you get really, really hot and you need to take your top off. I did actually get a top from there but I wore it in the gym today and it was rank. Like I came mm. home and I had to bring that out too. Alright, so these, there's two items that I'm going to show you now. This is a tie. Very nice. And a wallet. Um, leather wallet, bifold, <whistles> tie. Wool, made in the USA, That's it's called really General Knot & Company. Uh, it's a limited edition tie, 17 of 48 made. Very cool. It's pretty cool. This is also a leather wallet that is made in the US of A. These were from a shop called The Lodge. On, I had a look at Time Out and 
before I went to New York just to see if there was any like cool shops that I should go to and one of them was The Lodge. Really small little shop, kind of like a boutique -y shop that kind of does accessories. So I went in there just to go and have a look and came out with a nice new wallet and a nice tie. Mark and his wallet, he's honestly been looking for a new wallet for like, what, two years? So when he came back to the hotel room and he was like, I just bought a wallet, I was, I thought you were joking, I really thought you were having me on. But I feel like you picked very well. So it's it's very exactly well. what I wanted and I was really looking for... So basically all the, when I did buy anything in the, in the US, I wanted to buy something that I wouldn't be able to get when I'm here. That's yeah. yeah really nice, sound. really nice bloke in the shop as well. It did sound cool. He was a really nice guy. I'll show you my final two bits from Outdoor Voices. This is just like a stretchy hoodie type thing. And it's just so, feel how soft this is. It is so soft. Yeah, that is soft. This is just what I put on like as I go to and from the gym. So I wouldn't sniff under the armpit because that would probably stink. But <laughs> really lovely stuff in there. I mean, all their stuff, I tried so many bits Ooh. on and I could have bought much more, but I just left it like this because I haven't actually bought any new fitness gear for quite a while. I don't had, need it had, anymore. You had a phase of buying like yeah. so much stuff. Yeah, but that's because I was getting fitness into stuff. fitness. Now I have now I have what I need, but these are very cool and these I think I saw someone in the Pilates class wearing and then a lady came into Outdoor Voices with a cute little dog and she was wearing these and I was just like, right, okay, yeah, I need to have them in my life. They're very cool. They're just like a grey legging, but they've got this kind of panel on the front and I find it very slimming. Bold, having, very a, slimming. having light grey. No. So, I wore these and I didn't get a sweaty fanny mark. <laughs> I really didn't. I'm sorry, what? A sweaty fanny <laughs> mark. <laughs> I wore them to the gym and honestly, I, can't really I you kept just checking. Said that on the camera. I'm going to leave that in. Sweaty fanny mark. You know what I mean, though, girls, you know what's up. Like, when you work out, sometimes it can be a bit awkward in pale leggings, but not in these. No. Tried and tested. On to your final purchase. So, this isn't a purchase in New York. No, but it's one it's that, one that you guys would have about. seen. Yeah, you've asked about. So, um, yeah, so these. These are my new shoes. They are very cool. These yeah. are Lokes. These are a pair of Loke Brogues. Uh, and it's the Loke Chester Brogues in mahogany with a rubber sole. Oh, you can pick the sole? Uh, you can get the Chester without a rubber sole, just the kind of flat. Oh. Leather sole, so I got the ones with the rubber on. Um, they're made in the UK. They've been around for donkey's years. I think I think 1880 is when wow. Lokes started. That's pretty cool. Um, so these are my wedding shoes. These are my wedding shoes. I will be wearing them every day though. They are like bomb-proof shoes. The leather is quite stiff, so it lasts for ages. Mark Snubble. has been going on about these shoes for years. These and churches. Churches and Grayson's, yeah. If I have to hear about these bloody, like, brogues and loafers anymore. No, actually I don't have to because he's finally bought there. But they were a very treat yourself moment, but I think oh, they're they lucky were, and yeah. I think you'll get a lot of use. But I think, um, I, although they are quite a bit of money, I really think they're worth it. I really do, because they're heavy, like, they're just good, solid Work, shoes. I'm working the shoe. Really well made. Yeah, I just want to hold my shoes. You can just sit there and hold your shoes. I'm going to go finish off dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video. Everything that we have been mentioned will be linked down below. <laughs> also, along with any blog post where I'm wearing these items so you can see them on. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you to you That's for right. sitting and doing this. Do you, did you like the show and tell in the end? Do you feel you got into it? Just took me back to primary school. Did it? Yeah, it did. Oh, that was Show my little like, model car that I brought in. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to rope mark into doing, because I'm sure... I'm pretty easy going. You're very easy going. Um, but there'll be a brand new vlog on Wednesday, so check back for that, and I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.